Hey, this is a quick demo on how I set up my Orange Pi PC uh, with uh, Kodi uh, programs and also an IPTV server. So I'm going to navigate, actually I prefer navigating this menu with the keyboard. Uh, seems to go smoother. So for the IPTV you're going to want to install the STB Emulator Pro. Uh, with this you could use um, it's not working there. With this, you could use an uh, IPTV server like uh, Extreme Codes, for example. And um, in a future video, I'll, I'll talk about how to set up your Orange Pi. And then later, I'll even talk about setting up an uh, IPTV server if, if that seems to be getting any interest on my channel. So here we have uh, Video on Demand, these are movies, stuff like that. TV. If you're not familiar with IPTV, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You get all, all kinds of channels. Like uh, in this one, we have 1,396 channels. And for some reason, oh, let's just go to English channels. Keep it simple. For there we go. So, uh, for example, if I want to watch CBS, oh, there's even a TV guide there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm. Toronto right now, or Mississauga rather, so let's see what's on global or city. It's on global, same thing, Hawaii Five O. Anyway, so that's uh, IPTV. So the idea of IPTV is like you you have a, um, well, I, I'll save, I'll explain IPTV for another video. Uh, I just came, became familiar with, more familiarized with what IPTV exactly is. Um, you could look that up online for now. Uh, I'll save that for another video. So that's the IPTV, which I thought was pretty cool. It's really easy to set up. You just go to settings and uh, you go to profiles and then you create a profile and um, you're set up with your IPTV. You could pay something like $15 a month and get all these channels and video on demand. And this is a browser, but whatever. You don't use a browser. Uh, IPTV to use a browser. Okay, so uh, what else? Uh, just for fun, I installed Sudoku, and there's the uh, Google Play Store, because this is the uh, this is a Android uh, operating system for Orange Pi PC, uh, Android 4.4.2 actually. Uh, also, I have a camera for my Orange Pi, and what's really cool about that is I can stream it anywhere. Um, idea for an upcoming video. I have RetroArch on here, which is awesome because I'm familiar with using RetroArch on PC and PS3. Uh, there's some other emulators here, but I also have a six-axis uh, controller uh, application I could use to connect my PS4 or PS3 controllers with. And uh, these are the rest of the standard applications that came with this um, uh, operating system, aside from Kodi, uh, which uh, I upgraded, and uh, it runs really, really smooth. Uh, the browser, um, both of these browsers run really smooth, and... Uh, you could browse and navigate the file system. Wow, why is it uh, like that? That's interesting. So if you click on it with a keyboard, it's different than when you click on it with a mouse. I just learned that. So you could browse the USB, and you can still install APKs from the, uh, the USB directly like that, because, of course, it is rooted. And uh, what else did I want to show you? Uh, I don't have the camera set up, so I'll save that for another video. Uh, this one is a two gigabyte quad core running at 1.56 gigahertz. And I don't know what I could really show you on Kodi. This isn't really a fun task to be demonstrating Kodi. It has to be absolutely seamless. And to be getting a seamless experience on Kodi, you gotta know what you're doing. Don't nobody tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, Orgy. Okay, so that's it. If you want to learn how to set up uh, your Orange Pi PC, keep watching my next videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I will. James West, Cowboy and West.